We have an opportunity to speak with Taylor Kenny now. Taylor, you had an opportunity right now to play at Indie Thursday. Really amazing. That was a great sound. What was it like for you this evening? Oh, it was fantastic. You know, uh, Brent's been really good to me. I've been here probably three or four open mics, and he's just every time he's just so welcoming and just, hey, man, you know, like, buy me beer, you know, I'm like, hey, you know. And uh, it's seriously. He asked you to buy him a beer, right? That's how that? Well, we started there, and yeah, then yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, he uh, no, but he's been really cool, and uh, I just enjoy playing out. As he mentioned, you know, I have kind of a tumultuous little backstory here in Hollywood, and I'm just now sort of starting to play out, and I, I'm really enjoying it so far. Well, tell us about that backstory, because we only capture what's going on here. Uh, you know, I, it's it's like everybody thinks it's more romantic than it really is. It's just the the whole like cliche living in your car, homeless thing. Like I did it, yeah. and and you know, it's it it is what it is. I I went for a while trying to look for a job, just like everybody else, and. And I did took me a long time to get my feet on the ground, but I, I do finally, and I'm starting to play. So that's great. I lived in a, a trailer for three months, okay. and in a tent okay. for three months in a in a backyard of a friend of mine. So exactly. I feel you on that. Um, so where were you from? Where did where did you come to be in L.A.? I'm from Iowa. Iowa. Like what state is that in? No, I've heard of it. It's where James T. Kirk is from. Yes, absolutely. See, that's, that's I can connect with the Star Trek thing. That's about the only thing that is really endearing to it now. Um, but. It's, it, was a, it was a drive. I mean, nothing really happens there, so I had to go where the culture was to try to do music. What was that, what was that factor? What was it that, I mean, was it a moment? Because in my case, it was. Like, one moment I just said, I've got to devote myself to acting. It's my dream. Every time I went to the movies, I left and I said, I had a nice corporate job, and I'm like, that's where I need to be. You know, so for you, what was it, what was it like? What was that breaking factor when you said, I'm putting all the chips in? I mean, I think definitely music has been there my entire life. I've been playing the piano since I was four. Ever since about 10 or 11, I've been saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a solo artist. And seriously, and, and so it was just sort of an inevitable thing. And it just so happened that I, 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 had, I went through a breakup, you know what I mean? And then you get the dramatic thing going. And, and that was enough of like a catalyst to say, screw it, and I'm going to drive out. So. Breakups are great artistically. I wrote a crap ton of good music afterwards, so, right, you know. Right. Unfortunately, sometimes the best artistic stuff comes out of just, ugh. It's all right. Karma, you know. No, and on. it's good. And you know what? You, you remind me of something else. I like to talk to the camera as if it hears me uh, thinking. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it's kind of there's a reward in there for all those people who are trying to break into this industry and are having a hard time. It's the depth of your art really increases the harder it is, you know. And, and so for those people who are struggling out there, that's a part of the process. I mean, think about the best artists out there. You find out their story, it seems all glamorous. Not. Well, the other thing is that when you hit rock bottom, as they say, Absolutely. anything better than that is good. You know, so people get into this zone where they're like, I have, to, I have no pay to play and yeah, I, yeah. I need a hundred bucks at the door. It's like, you don't think that way because you're going to turn down so many good opportunities and you never know who is there. So, I love that. And I think that's another thing to, for our viewers is so important is that I find that the people who've had it a little too good will walk away from it quicker. I've been trying to break into this business for 15 years and I've had success and then I've had not success and then I've had to, but because it's been that long and it's been so hard, I don't expect anything else. So when the success comes, it's great, but I'm not gonna leave if it's not there. Right, and it's the difference between a career and a calling. Absolutely. And I think when you, can, when you can have one and it yields the other, then it's a perfect situation. But until then, it's still the calling no matter what you're doing. Now, well, now I know why Brent has you back all the time. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. We loved hearing you perform tonight, and best of luck out there. Thank you.